In this video, we're going to see what managing multiple Google Doc group activities looks like from the instructor's perspective. So this is what my desktop looks like. Uh, this is, we have 11 different tabs up here. Um, there's my drive folder. There's a Google Doc with the main prompt that I've copied and pasted into all four group activity docs. You see my slides, a page for my LMS, both of which at some point I screen share here in Adobe Connect. I used Screencast-O-Matic on this day to record this part of class. And there's my calendar, which is always in my browser. Um, on the Google Doc itself, we are in group three. I always use the date and students' names in the title of the actual document just to make sure that students know that they're in the right place. Um, over here on the right, we see these six little squares indicating that six other people are in the document. That's all five students and my TA. That's great, everybody's here. And then down here in the lower right, this is the all important native Google Docs chat feature. This is the group chat for students to communicate with each other during the activity. Um, when we shift from Adobe Connect to Google Docs, like when we make that transition from Adobe Connect over to the group activity, I mute myself and blank my video so that because the focus is over here in Google Docs. We are all still in Adobe Connect. We haven't closed out of the room. We're just working over here. So this video excerpt is primarily visual, just watching things happen on the screen. Things move really quickly, so I'm actually going to hang out here with you in this director's cut to explain what's going on. The first thing you'll see me do at the top is ensure that students are talking with each other inside of the Google Docs. I always do this. The second we get into the activities, I open up the chat in all of the Google Docs and remind everybody to, to talk with each other. That's the point. So let's begin. All right, yeah, you see my little cursor up there. Here I am popping into each of the documents, reminding everybody to talk to each other. Oh, this group is already chatting. Oh, this group is definitely chatting. That's great. Let's see. Group two does not need that reminder. Uh, group three. Okay, they're all working. I can see their, their cursors in the document, but they're not talking with each other. So this is not an independent activity. We both. I'm dropping another hint in the chat for folks, like maybe you could start color coding the activity itself. All right, group two is still doing well. People are typing. That is great. Let's see what they have to say. Negotiating the task. I'm going to do this. Do you want to go ahead and do this? It's beautiful. Ooh, I see it. Are we supposed to? So I happen to see that and I respond. All right, these people still aren't talking. Stuff is happening, but they're not communicating with each other. They need to collaborate. We only have a few more minutes for this activity. Let's check on another group. Group three. All right, nobody's talking. It's time for an intervention. I need to say something. So in order to get these into one paragraph, you're going to need to cut a lot. Um, I recommend chatting with each other in the Google chat area so that you can develop a strategy like couple of you maybe move down to the second paragraph, start color coding, see what you can be, see what you can cut so that you can squish this into one healthy but not too long single paragraph. Couple more minutes, but 1010 is our drop dead. So like three more minutes. That's it. Thanks. So one of the advantages of not going into breakout rooms is that I can do those oral 
hints, heads up, reminders, timestamps, etc. Um, and I've already bounced out of that group, but we could see that even before I was done talking with that little heads up, um, students were already like, okay, anybody see anything to cut? Which is awesome. So same over here, as I'm going back through the docs, I see that students are all talking with each other, which is beautiful.